Hello and welcome back to another episode of The Lounge. Today is Monday, June 18th, and this is Coffee and Cigars number eight right here on our channel. And uh, kind of have some people in here today to uh, kind of watch us do this live, so I'm a little nervous. But uh, either way, Coffee and Cigars, we're going to review the cigar, then we're going to taste the coffee, and then we're going to taste them together, see whether or not we think it's a good pairing to have. And uh, usually, uh, you know, we've done light cigars. Last week we did a Maduro, I believe, or maybe it might have been the week before we did a Maduro. This week I'm going a little different. It's a nice little short steak by Arturo Fuente. It's called the Cubanito. It comes in a tin can of 10. And the reason I picked this one is because sometimes you're in a hurry, you want to drink some coffee, you want to have a cigar, and you don't really have time to spend 45 minutes smoking a Robusto or even an hour and a half smoking a Toro. So you you go for something a little smaller like the Cubanito right here. And so we're going to go ahead and taste this one. Uh, Sight, it's a, it's short. It looks like a cigarillo. I guess it, it is a cigarillo, but uh, it's made with that Duro Fuentes blend. It's part of the Grand Reserve, as it says it on the label. It looks a little sloppy. I mean, I don't, I don't know what much more to expect from Sight from a cigarillo. It looks like a light brown color, maybe like kind of like the the brownish greenish it looks a little green as well it's not just a uh, brown it looks like it has a hint of a uh, of, of green as well not much to say the label looks just like a miniature version of the uh, of the rosados and the other lines of cigars that Arturo carries but Sight, not much to say. I mean, it's a small cigar in your hand. You don't really hold it like a normal cigar. You're probably going to be holding it like a cigarette or maybe uh, some other thing that you smoke that's this size. But it, uh, not much, not much to sm uh, sight. Smell, however, I'm getting a lot of wood to the nose. <sighs> I mean, when you have such a small cigar and such a, this isn't one of those, let me analyze everything. It's not going to win Cigar of the Year by any, maybe, I don't know. I don't think so, but it's not really something that you're going to spend a lot of time looking over. This is just a, a fast, casual thing, you know, so probably not going, they're probably going for uh, oh, quality. They're probably definitely going for quality. I see that the build, though, is kind of falling apart. Some of the leaf is tearing. It's just like a, a fast. Let me light it, smoke it, and then get back to what I'm doing. Unfortunately, that's what... The, I mean, it's not unfortunate. I mean, it's why they made this cigar. They made the cigar for these people that are in a hurry. They want to smoke. They don't have time for a good, good, good cigar. So they get this decent. You know, it's nice. I've smoked it before, of course. Uh, you know, 20-minute... You know, 15, 20-minute smoke. It's not a... It is, I guess, compared... It's like a... Uh, it's like those little bottles of wine. Instead of getting a big wine bottle, you decide to get the six pack of the little mini bottles or a little shot of whiskey instead of a big glass just because you need, you want something to drink. So that's what I, I would say this is like. The coffee, mm, can't wait to try the coffee. But uh, smell, <sighs> just a lot of wood. Some sweetness to it as well. Maybe honey. I'm not sure. But it is a little sweet as well. Again, not much to see, not much to smell. But taste, however, let's go ahead and give that. I'm going to give it a straight cut. These are not pre-cut, by the way. These are actually cut. They come in a tin can. Typically, when cigars come in a tin can... Oh, wow, the, the bell didn't ring. I thought the bell was going to ring. So much traffic, so much noise. I'm sorry, guys, podcast listeners. Bear with me. But, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and try it. We're going to go ahead and give it a, a little light with our handy-dandy Eagle Torch lighter. Dusting the edges, just like we always do here on the lounge. I mean, I from I, from what I remember, it has good construction, but it's so skinny that it can't really hold itself for long before it just ashes on you.
Hmm. I'm wondering if it's the same blend as the Rosado because it tastes a lot very similar to it as well. Great taste. Let me let it warm up a bit before I start giving you what I'm really tasting. Pine, getting a lot of pine. This, the wood kind of went away. Not spicy at all. Very leathery. Leathery pine. Maybe like a, a car scent that you put the evergreen tree smell device on so that it smells like forest. Like a pine tree forest, maybe in northern Florida. And a little bit, getting a little bit of sweet. Hmm. Trying to pinpoint. Maybe coconut. I might be getting coconut right now. Coconut pines. Hmm. And leather. A little bit of nut as well. Construction on it, phenomenal. It's just skinny, so it's probably not going to hold itself much longer. I think it's, it keeps changing flavors because I'm smoking it through it so fast, new ones are coming in. But again, this is a 20-minute cigar. I probably, I'll probably get through half of it before I finish reviewing it. By far one of my favorite to smoke when I'm on the go, have stuff to do. Mm. It's like a pine leathery. The coconut is very slight, but I feel it right around the back of my throat. Definitely there. That one's arguable. You know, some people might not pick up on that, or some people might pick up on different things that I'm not picking up on. You guys know the drill. You know this is subjective. Yep. Let's go ahead and try the coffee. It's Cuban coffee, so it's going to be good. This is called the Cubanito, so I feel like it'll pair well with coffee. Hmm. Take another little shot of espresso. Get me hyped up for the show. <laughs> Just had to ash it. I had to. Hmm. Hmm. The coffee brings out. Hmm. The coffee brings out like a, a third or fourth dimension to this cigar. Just pour it a little bit more. I'm going to try one more time. Mm-hmm. Mm. Trying to pinpoint what it tastes like. Mm. 
something chocolatey and I'm not really getting what it like chocolate mousse. Mm. Like baked Alaska. Hmm. Or like a chocolate cake. Hmm. Very creamy. Hmm. Literally got through half of it, as you can see. Getting this rich wood. <sighs> wood came back towards the end, just halfway through it. Hmm. So chocolate pine nuts mixed with leather. All in all, I think it's a good pairing. And I think I'm ready to rate it. So, the Arturo Fuentes Cubanito that comes in a tin of 10, paired singly with some Cuban coffee here on the lounge, we give this pairing a rating of an... Seven point nine. Seven point nine is what it gets. You'll see right here, obviously, what the high score was. Uh, I think this is it, it. Didn't I? Definitely don't think it got the high score, but it definitely got you know high. I think it got like an average, pretty average score here on the lounge. Uh, great pairing. I think just for the fact that it's so small and goes with the pairs well with coffee. I think just gives it a you know the go ahead to to be your go-to smoke when you're on break, you know, 30 minute break, you only have, you get one of these, you smoke for 15 minutes, drink some coffee, get energized, get ready to go back into the work. But yeah, 7.9 from the lounge. Sight and smell, not really a lot, but they packed a, a good blend into this cigar. I mean, it, it, I like it. And it, this isn't the first time I tried, I've actually smoked this. I smoke it whenever I feel like smoking something that is not going to take up too much of my time. And I just feel like I have an urge to puff on something good. So great blend by Arturo Fuentes, uh, great coffee made by yours truly. And that's about it. Thank you so much for staying tuned to the end of this episode. If you like what we had to say, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you are listening to this on the podcast, I'm sure there's a way to favorite our station. So you're updated whenever there's a new, uh, episode audio version available. You can follow us on Instagram at Gable Cigars for the shop or at the lounge.media for the, the show's actual Instagram. And that about does it for today. Thank you so much. My name's Javier Cobus, and we'll catch you tomorrow for Let's Talk number eight.